If you're thinking about doing your Dive Master course, what are your options? Are Dive Master internships really slave labor? All those answers coming up. Roll intro. Hi guys, I'm James. This is your Divers Ready Mouthpiece Monday. Welcome to our channel. It is so great to see all of your beautiful smiling faces. How was your weekend? Did you dive? I hope so. I hope it was epic. Let me know in the comments below if you went diving, where did you go diving? We had a pretty awesome weekend ourselves here at Divers Ready. I finished up some students' trimix class and we started an open water class. So you can't get more variety than that. On this channel, I share my years of global experience as a professional dive instructor to help make you a better diver and make your next dive that one percent better than your last dive. So if you love diving as much as I do, make your next dive on our subscribe button down there, click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. If you want to take your diving to a professional level, one option is to do a dive master course. Later in this video I'm going to be breaking down the two myths of doing a dive master internship, so stay tuned for that. But right now let's look at your basic options for achieving dive master rock star status. The first option is on a customer basis. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna make the assumption that you've already paid for at least one scuba course. So you know how that goes. You pay money to a dive center to be their student, you get assigned an instructor, and they take you through the course, be that self-study, instructor-led theory sessions, exams, skills practice, execution in open water, and so on. And a dive master course can be taught on that same basis. It's just a bigger course, so it takes longer. The only thing to watch for here is what's included in the price that you're paying and are there any extras you need to consider. For instance, one dive center here in South Florida offers a customer-based dive master course for about $900, but that doesn't include your agency fees and it doesn't include your study materials. So you can actually tack on another $300 for that, $1,100 to do your dive master course, and as they advertise it, take six to seven days. Personally, I'm of the opinion that a customer-based dive master course is a great option if you've been diving for a long time. If you've already got your dive skills down pat and all you're really looking for is to complete the exercises and brush up on a little bit of theory, then absolutely. 1100 bucks, one week of your time, get the certificate and carry on being an awesome diver. However, I would not recommend this option if you're scraping into the Dive Master course with the minimum number of divers acquired, which I believe without checking is around 40 depending on which agency you go with. If you're coming into a paid dive master course with the minimum number of dives under your belt, it means you're gonna have six to seven days to crush the theory and all the exams, do all of the exercises that are required during your dive master course, run your skills circuit and get adequate scores. Plus, you're gonna to have to assist an instructor in all their different courses and in that time somehow amass an additional minimum 20 dives. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is trying to shovel 10 pounds of sh into a three pound bag. I mean, I personally think that the minimum number of dives required to be a dive master is way too low. Uh, I mean, 60 for most agencies give or take. I'm struggling to think of anything else that you can consider yourself a master of after only 60 repetitions. A better option for most people would be to look at dive master internship programs, which traditionally are taught over a longer time period, giving you more time to update your skills, clock up the required number of dives, and really get a feel for what it's like to work at an actual dive center. But you need to be careful here and make sure you understand what you're committing to. So I want to dispel, as I said earlier, the two biggest myths of Dive Master Internships. No, no, they're not, because Dive Master Internships are optional. You volunteer to go for them. There's no slavery involved. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But what can be a problem is if it's not made clear up front what's included, what's not included, what the costs are, and what the expectations are from the intern. You have the freedom of choice as a Dive Master intern whether you want to participate in the program or not. It's just up to you to do the maths to see if their program fits with what your expectations of the course would be. Here's the equation. What you need to decide is how much of your time you're gonna spend working for the dive center and how much that's worth to you, plus the cost of any exclusions that aren't included in your dive master internship. And you need to balance that against the value of everything you're getting in the internship package. If your internship asks you 
to work eight hours a day for six days a week for six months in a capacity that's not directly related to your course of study, that's 1,152 hours of your time that you're giving to the dive center, that you're working for the dive center. So from there, you can take the amount that you believe your labor is worth per hour, and that would differ around the world. For argument's sake, and to keep the maths easy, let's say it's $10 per hour. That means over the course of six months, you will have outputted $11,520 worth of work that you're giving to the dive center. In other words, those eight hours a day, if you weren't doing them, they'd have to pay a staff member to do that. Now you can add to that anything that's gonna be a cost related to your course that's not included in your internship package. So for example, if they don't include agency fees, if they don't include your course study materials, most internships these days do, but you've got to check. So anything that's not included, you need to work out what the price of those things are and add it to that dollar amount of your labor. Then on the other side of the equation, you need to balance that against what is included in your internship. Things that may or may not be included are your course materials, your agency fees, any bonuses that you can earn through commission if you're working in a retail operation, uh, any gear packages that they include, or is rental gear included if you need it. You really shouldn't need rental gear if you're becoming a dive master. Your instructor's time, the opportunity of free diving for six months, and how much are you actually gonna get to use that? Perhaps they have accommodation included, perhaps there's some kind of a food package included. All of those things need to be valued out and amassed and you're going to see if that equation balances now if that equation doesn't balance it doesn't mean it's a deal breaker if it's a really good deal and you come out on the winning side yippee if there's a deficit you need to decide if you would pay that amount and the deficit for the overall experience either that or you're just gonna to have to make sure you do as much free diving as possible while you're a dmt now, as far as dive master internships being slave labor, I've already said they're not because they're voluntary. You agree to do them. What I really don't understand is when dive master trainees moan about having to do the menial jobs around a dive center. Because newsflash, working as a dive master includes a lot of menial jobs. So what are you training for? If you have a steel or aluminum allergy, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't like carrying tanks, if you don't like sweeping the floor, if you don't like cleaning rinse tanks, if you don't like rinsing rental gear, if you don't like emptying the trash, if you don't like landscaping, if you don't like cleaning boats, don't do a dive master internship. It's not for you. And all of those jobs that are assigned to dive master trainees, it's not a punishment. It's actually what working in a dive center is like. And I'm talking about every dive center on the planet. Not really. I've ran dive centers all over the world, and do you know how many dive masters I've ever hired? That many. Sure, I've had dive master interns, and I've trained dive masters, but actually hired to a paid position? That many. Because in all of those places I've worked, I could hire a dive instructor for the same price. So why would I hire a dive master? A dive instructor can do more different jobs. So opportunities for a dive master are limited, but here are some possibilities. If you're looking for resort work, focus on resorts that are looking for dive guides rather than instructors. So in other words, their focus is on leading guided trips, overselling and teaching courses. Same thing applies with liverboards. Liverboards are often looking for just a dive guide because most of the guests on the liverboard aren't looking to do a course. They're looking just to dive, 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 dive as much as they can. I had a really spicy curry for lunch and now it's like, huh? The mega yacht industry is another place where a dive master certification is welcome. Although usually that wouldn't be the full-time job. You're just a dive master on a mega yacht. Usually you would be a steward, stewardess, or a deckhand. So it would be deckhand with some DMing duties. And the amount of diving you do on a yacht varies yacht to yacht, depending on what the owners want to do. There's always aquariums. They like to hire dive masters to clean their tanks. So there's that, yeah. Um, I did my dive master over two months in Indonesia and I got really lucky. The shop had just opened. I was their first dive master trainee, had a couple of great instructors, got some great diving done. And at the end of the two months, I went back to my day job and added dive master as a complementary skill to working on ships. But my recommendation, if you don't have that kind of a setup, is absolutely go on and do your instructor course because it's gonna open up so many more avenues for you. You do your dive master internship and if you can follow it up with your IDC 
see your instructor development course, spread it out over the longest period you can, really take that time and work on your diving, get tons of diving done, and it's gonna make you a better, more well-rounded instructor. Don't forget to make your next dive on that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, have you done your Dive Master internship? Are you thinking about doing it? Where are you thinking about doing it? Click that little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video and feel free to like this one. Until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready Mouthpiece Monday for this week. Dive safe, dive often.